I'm Leah with May Arts Ribbon and today I am going to show you how to make a flower loop bow. Before we begin you will need the following items. Needle and thread, scissors, May Arts Ribbons, and a ruler. You also might want some things to put on the top of your bow. Buttons, brads, flowers, whatever you choose. Let's make some bows. All right, for this bow that I'm going to make, the bottom layer will be yellow. My second layer is the green one that I've already created. Then I'm going to have blue, which I've made, and I'm going to end it with some orange and an embellishment on the top. Now to make these layers, it's extremely easy and that is all you need to know. Now the size of your ribbons and the number of your ribbons, that can all vary depending on what style you want. I use, I like wide ribbons on the bottom and smaller on the top um, for this kind of a project. With this, my measurements, I'm only going to be using three ribbons on the bottom for my base. For something like this, I used a lot more, um, I used uh, maybe six different ribbons for the base of, of that. But for this one, I have three. So I have my three ribbons. This is a fun scalloped, yellow scallop from May Arts. I love this ribbon. Take the ribbon, I've cut it into ten, uh, 10 inch strips of the ribbon, three. I fold it with the pattern facing in. It's just folded. I then take my needle and thread, make sure that it's even, and I come up from the center inside, come up to the center, and I stop part way so that my ribbon is on my needle. While it's on the needle, I spread out my ribbons very easy to do. Spread them out any way you like. Rearrange it oh, like a flower. Now we loop. Flower loop bow. So let's loop. We start with our base ribbon. Bottom, bottom, bottom ribbon. Come up to the top. Loop it over. Next one. We'll loop it over. It's very easy. See? Fun. Kids can do this. Loop it over. And while you're looping, you can just fluff a little Loop it over the top. Once you have, um, well with this, three ribbons, two loops per ribbon, so it makes six little loops on my flower. I pull up my needle, my thread, this came out here, about three or four stitches. And that will secure your, your base ribbon. You can, like I said, play with it, and it can go either way. Um, facing up, facing back. You can sew your layers together, or you can use a hot glue gun. I'm going to use a hot glue gun because the layers are so thick, sometimes it's difficult to sew through. Once you've done your stitches, tie it off. And you have your part of your bow. And stack your layers. One, two, three. I'm going to add my orange and I'll be right back. Now that I'm finished with all my layers, I've stacked them on top of each other, added a button for my final touch, and there I have my flower loop bow. Thank you for watching and check the May Arts blog every Monday for new posts, creative ideas, and inspiration.